Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site from the New York Times. Reuben, Hurricane Carter, boxer whose murder convictions were overturned, dies at 76. By Selwyn, Rob, April 20th, 2014, Part 5, Racial Revenge Theory. Over the next nine years, numerous appeals in New Jersey courts failed. But when issues were heard for the first time in federal court in 1985, Judge H. Lee Sarokin of United States District Court in New work overturned the convictions on constitutional grounds. He ruled the prosecutors had fatally infected the trial by resorting without evidence to a racial revenge theory and that they had withheld evidence disproving Mr. Bellow's identifications. Mr. Carter was freed. Mr. Artis was released on parole 1981. When the prosecution's attempts to reinstate the convictions were rejected by Federal Appeals Court and the Supreme Court, the charges against Mr. Carter and Mr. Artis were formally dismissed 1988, 22 years after the original indictments. During his second imprisonment in the case, his wife had sued for divorce. After learning that he had an affair with a supporter while he was freed on bail awaiting trial, information about his survivors could not be immediately learned. On his final release from prison, Mr. Carter, with a full crop of curly hair, clean shaven, wearing thick glasses, moved to Toronto, where he lived with a secretive Canadian commune, married the head of it, Lisa Peters. He ended relationship with her and the commune in mid-1990s. He founded Innocent International 2004 and lectured about inequalities in Americans' criminal justice system. His former co-defendant, Mr. Artis, joined the organization in 2011. He published an autobiography, Eye of the Hurricane, My Path from Darkness to Freedom, written with Ken Klonsky and with a foreword by Nelson Mandela. His last weeks, he campaigned for the exoneration of David McCollum, a Brooklyn man who had been in prison since 1985 on murder charges. In an opinion article published by the Daily News, February 21st, 2014, headline, Hurricane Carter's Dying Wish, he asked Mr. McCullen be granted a full hearing by Brooklyn's new district attorney, Kenneth P. Thompson. Just as my own verdict was predicated on racism rather than reason and on concealment rather than disclosure, as Mr. Saro Kin wrote, so too was McCollum's, Mr. Carter wrote. He added, if I find a heaven after this life, I'll be quite surprised. In my own years on this planet, though, I lived in hell for the first 49 years and have lived in heaven for the past 28. To live in a world where truth matters and justice, however late, really happens, that world would be heaven enough for us all. This has been Tom Duty, middle-aged American, living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site. Thank you for listening. Have a good day, good evening, or restful night's sleep. Ciao.